Hey guys, what's up? It's Bex and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be using the Orgy Palette by Jeffree Star. We're going to be recreating this look right here. It is apparently called the Espresso Look. It has more browns, a lot of neutral, chocolatey tones that remind us all of our favorite coffee. So without further ado, let's get right on in. We need to clip the hair back here. Alrighty guys, first things first, you know what product I'm gonna use. It is the P. Louise. This is the base in shade Rumor 0.5. Now today, I'm going to be going out. My neighbor is moving away. He is actually being stationed overseas for the military. So it is his going away party tonight. So this is kind of a get ready with me slash let's try the espresso look again. I tried it the first time with an old palette, so. Which I threw away by the way after I did a video of it. Now for this look, we're gonna be using the Orgy palette by Jeffree Star. It has a lot of really nice neutral and brown shades, both warm and cool. So we're going to be using that. I'm gonna go in with the shade implant and use that to set this primer. I'm just using a big fluffy brush and working her all around. Working her around like a neighborhood bike. So this shade is more of my skin tone and that's why I use it to set. Now obviously if you have a different skin tone than I do, I would suggest using one closest to your skin tone shade. Now we're gonna use a very fluffy brush, this bad boy here. Very fluffy brush and we're gonna go in with a nice transition shade called Top. So now we're gonna pop it in for my hooded eye girlies. Pop it in, and because it's so big and fluffy, it actually goes above the crease, which is what we want. And just windshield washer motion that color and work it in to your crease and above it. I'm gonna do it one more time. Are you guys excited about summer? Do you guys have any plans? What you got going on? My best friend comes in a few weeks and I'm excited she's gonna be doing a photo shoot, a few photo shoots here. And I'm gonna be helping her do her makeup, which I'm excited about. And I will film of course, because why not? <laughs> Other than that, I don't have a lot of plans. I'm gonna go visit my friend in Raleigh, he moved there, so I'm gonna go visit him. And I haven't seen him in a hot minute, so Patrick, if you end up watching my videos, I'm coming to see you, bud, which obviously he knows. <laughs> All right, we're going in still with a fluffy brush, but this one is more of a flat brush. And we're gonna go in with the shade. It's called Booby Trap, and it's a very chocolatey, espresso color and so now we're just going to take this color and we're going to put it more so into the crease and gently work that in which is nice because of the shape of this brush really helps get it in but the fluffiness really helps blend it out instead of keeping it all in one place I do want to go visit my parents in Tulsa again this summer. I do believe I'm trying to make a, uh, a trip out to Virginia again to see my friends. Now see, what's nice about this espresso look that is currently trending is the fact that it looks good on all skin tones, all eye colors, and just a beautiful, simple, timeless look. And you can honestly wear it with anything. Do a little work. 
this is my cardio for the day. Just kidding. I got my workout in, although blending is part of my cardio. Now we're going to take more of a dense, domey kind of pointy brush like such. And we are going to go in with a deeper shade called Invitation Only. Now we're going to concentrate this more on that V. Let's see if I can get up in, in this business here. So just so you guys for purposes of seeing this, this is just getting in that, that line right there, smudging it out and then taking it out because this is going to be my eyeliner. I don't want to put eyeliner on. And then of course, like fanning it up like it's our liner and then pushing it in that crease. Now, obviously this looks a little crazy. I'm gonna push a little bit more into my lash line, but once we blend it all out together, it's gonna look beautiful. Just trust the process. And I know some people come for me and say, oh my gosh, you're not putting the tongue on your eyes. Well, guess what guys? The people that tell me not to tug on my eyes are probably the people that smoke cigarettes and you're not supposed to do that either, right? So, or other kind of vices and things like that like excessive alcohol. So I know that looks crazy, but trust me, we will blend it all together and it will look beautiful. All right, we're gonna go back in with another big fluffy brush, but this time we're gonna use Craving Chocolate and just use it to blend. I'm just softening that line a little bit. And then using a brush that doesn't have anything on it. Soften it up a little bit. Diffuse a little bit of it out, out here. And again, don't be scared because we will clean that stuff up. All right, now we're gonna go back in with that more domed fluffy brush and we're gonna go back in with invitation only and just push it back in there. All right, I'm gonna use the shade. I'm gonna do I'm shy, I think. For underneath here. Helping carve that out a little bit. And then I'm going to use for the inner corner and everything, I'm gonna use, excuse me, I'm gonna try voyeurism. It might be too yellow, but we'll try it. We'll try it and see. I like it. It's almost like the, just a cute little light shade. Mm, I don't know. Now I step back and look and I'm like, eh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna use fluffer on top of it just to see if it softens it out a little bit. Oh yeah, I think that's better. All right, now on the lid, I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade and we're gonna go in with, let's do silk robe. I'm just kind of push that. And don't fret my beauties. Get that brush, that fluffy brush and blend it together. It just gives a nice halo effect and just lightens it up just a little bit. All right, now with that brush that still has some color left on it, we're gonna go down with the bottom lash line and smudge it out. Right, those will go in the wash, the wash bin. All right, so here is the eyes. Of course, we're getting ready to clean it all up, so don't fret. The first things first, we're gonna go in with, we're gonna go in with my tried and true, the NYX the shade Cool Ash Brown. Do our brows a little bit. I did get them waxed today. Shout out to my girl, Sydney. Just little hair like strokes. And spoolie on through it. All right, now this side. And I still don't know what I'm wearing tonight either. So 
Oh, it's gonna be interesting not knowing what I'm gonna wear. All right, I'm gonna take my spoolie. I'm going to dust off any excess powder in my lashes before I dip into the micellar water. They're nice and fluffy again, thanks to my girl Annie. All right, now to clean up the eye. So now, of course, you know, we put some micellar water. We folded this in half like such. And we're using that clean edge to just clean it up. And then same thing, but I switch sides and then push it in and then drag her down and then drag her up. So we have nice, nice, clean, crisp, since I'm not very good at doing winged eyeliner, which I need to get better at, but not very good at it. Now we're just gonna take that fluffy brush again and just blend in that harsh edge a little bit. You might need a little stipper of a brush. All right, this eye look is looking great, guys. I'm very happy with it. So tonight I'm not gonna use any foundation because it is so hot out today. And I don't know if there's dancing in this place that we're gonna be going. So I don't want to, I don't necessarily want to put on a lot on my face today. So we're just gonna do, of course, bronzer and blush. And maybe I'll put some highlighter right in there to, I don't know if I like this, the inner corner look, but I'm committed y'all. All right, I'm gonna go in with the Chanel bronzer. The color is tan medium bronze. And then I just take my P. Louise F43 brush, which is just this one here. I push it in towards the hairline, just to give me a nice healthy glow. I'm always gotta find that sweet spot. And I know it looks crazy right now, but just trust the process, y'all. Especially when my hair is down. And you always want to blend up. You don't want to drag it down. And soften the edge a little bit. And what's nice is this will settle into my skin nicely. And then I always just bronze out that nose just a little. All right, and this will get softened out with the blush. So again, don't fret guys. I've been obsessed with this P. Louise blush, this liquid blush, and it is in the shade Baked Biscuit. It's just a beautiful shade. And I like to just stipple it. Of course, I'm using the P. Louise blush brush in F40. Now for highlighter, I am gonna go in with this Hourglass Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion, but I'm gonna use some of the shimmer from it specifically for a highlighter. Cause I don't want anything crazy tonight, but I still want a little bit of, of a nice glow. But maybe we can put it in here. I don't even know if that's coming out with that brush. So we're going to try something else because I don't think it's doing what I want it to do. But yeah, it's giving me that shimmer, which is what I want. I might use this fan brush. Let's try that. There we go. Now I'm seeing it. Got a lash down. Beautiful. Now for lip color, I'm gonna try out this, I don't know how to pronounce this, Sat Satchew? If I turn that light off, we can see what it spells. So this is the lip liner Stay In. So this is this big thing, this peel off that is all a lot of our TikTok, so. It's supposed to be in the shade Mauve. So I'm gonna get in close. I 
Okay, so it looks really scary. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna let it, oh, I have no itch. I'm gonna let it dry, do my hair, and then I'll come back for final thoughts. All right, we are back. I did my hair a little bit, I'm ready for the night. I don't know if this is gonna be my outfit for the night or not. I don't think it goes with my makeup look, so I'm probably gonna change again, but I wanted to pop on. I'm not trying to peel it off. Yeah, it's supposed to be a lip stain. I feel like it stains my lips more. Mm, I don't know how I feel about this. It's okay but I look like a butthole lips. All right, guys, so this is the look. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you really liked it and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Really appreciate it. And hey, follow me on all socials. I'll see you next time. Ugh, I just dipped my nail somehow into I'm close. Hey boys, can you stop it down there? And look at me. Today we're gonna be using the Orgy palette by, oh, please don't eat that. <gasps> so without further ado, <laughs> so without, well, hi Nugget.